buzz you've heard. Just when we thought the story was all over, there is a brand new epilogue to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero DLC. We'll be meeting up with both new and old friends as a final send off to this adventure. So let's get started. Okay, so to actually start the epilogue is a little bit confusing, as far as I can tell. We're back here at Kitakami, of course, the location of the first DLC adventure, the first part of it, and as you can see, we can go to the Poke Portal, and in here, we need to get a mystery gift, I think? Get via internet? I don't know if this is just gonna give me the gift, but there should be some kind of, like, berry or something? We'll see. You're now connected to the internet. Searching for gifts, do we get anything cool? Okay, mythical Pekka Berry gift. Let's see what this is gonna be. It's a little complicated because the game doesn't really tell you this anywhere. I just had to look it up online, but hey, a gift is a gift. And, very fancy treasure opening. You got a mythical Pekka Berry. That's pretty cool. So I don't need this other thing for right now. <laughs> Whatever that is, I'll save it for later. Uh, I wanna stop for now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to disconnect and back up and then go to the little shop here in Kitakami. Uh, the shop here should have something for us right over this way. So yeah, we're at the main Kitakami area. Right over here, you can see there's this pink thing at the store and if we go up and interact with it, whoa, there's a dusty old decoration of some sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things and it smells incredibly sweet. Huh, huh? The decoration appeared to move a little bit? We're getting a call. That was odd. Zebra, yo, Arvin here. I heard the news. You've been having all kinds of big adventures, huh, little buddy? School trips, studying abroad, what luck. Yeah, it's been awesome. Cool to hear from Arvin again, yeah? Man, I'm jealous to hear that. I wish I could have gone along too. Now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. I guess you've still been real busy lately, but are things starting to settle down? I was thinking that if you have time, and only if you want, of course, maybe I could come visit you at your house? Of course, come right over. Seriously? It's such a relief to hear you say that, and without even the tiniest hesitation. So I guess I'll come over. Your house is in Cabo Poco, right? I'll meet you out front. See you there. Sure, okay, so it looks like we're to go meet Arvin. First time in a while. Whoa, the thing is gone. The hidden treasure of Area Zero epilogue, Mochi Mayhem. Whoa, everything's goopy. Huh. Meet up with Arvin. So it looks like we need to go all the way back, of course, to our home back in uh, this normal Paladea region, which is right over here. So let's see if it'll tell me. Reunion with Arvin. Head to Cabo Poco and meet Arvin in front of your house. All right, let's get to it. Whoa, wait a minute. I just saw somebody else too. It looks like all of our friends are swinging by. Hi guys, there he is. Oi, Zebra. What's up? <laughs> Figured I'd tag along. Hey there, you're all here. Zebra, I, this is all my fault, sorry. You know when I called you and said I wanted to come hang? Well, these two overheard and, well, we weren't just going to let you hog the, the chance to visit Zebra. It's way more fun to roll together. You say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. It's totally fine. You guys are our schoolmate friends. I guess, if you're fine with it, Zebra, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. We're not allowed to cause any trouble for Zebra and his mom. Got it? We're gonna be the perfect guests today. You bet. I don't know who you think you're educating here, but sure, whatever. <laughs> All right. Always good to hang out with some old friends, right? Hopefully we can catch up and see what they've been up to. I can only imagine they've been as busy as we have been. That was such a great meal. Can't believe we all, we all got that after we barged in out of nowhere. 
Your mom's cooking is so good, Zebra. Right? And she's so pretty. My brain literally glitched when I saw her. I'm so glad she remembered me. And look at this huge room. Doesn't make you feel all boxed in like the dorm rooms do. It's super cute, seriously. Almost too much for me to take. All these compliments. Ooh, it's a Nintendo Switch. You have to tell me what games you've got on this end. A lot. <laughs> I love the Squovit plush. This fluff's to die for. Oh, and here's her mom. How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some sweets. Sweets? Yes! No way. We couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't mean to be a hustle. Hassle, I mean, we don't want to be a hassle. <laughs> oh, sweetie, no need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. Y yes, ma'am. Oh, and Zebra, a letter came for you. It's from Kieran. Do you know a Kieran? Yes, I do. I don't want to say no, that wouldn't even be truthful. My word, you've been making plenty of friends. Here you are. So I guess Kieran's catching up with us too? I'll bring those sweets up in just a few. I hope you all enjoy them. I'll come help. Cool. I like how this is just a casual hangout with friends. God, I wanna check out the sweets too. Your mom sure is nice, Zebra. You're real lucky. Oh, but what about that letter? Aren't you gonna at least open it up? I guess so. Dear Zebra, how are you doing lately? I took a leave from school, so I'm back in Mosby Town for a while. My sis came back with me too. I know we didn't get much chance to talk after everything that happened in the Under Depths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing by to visit to, Kit a visit to Kitakami? Carmine would love to see you, I'm sure. Maybe you could bring your friends from Paldea too. I included plenty of tickets. Who's this Karen guy? Some new friend or something? Was Arvin like reading over our shoulder? A little rude, but I won't complain. Yeah, just a friend. Yeah? I mean, I guess that's good for you and all. Zebra, Arvin, you're not gonna believe how good this stuff looks. There's too much to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat. Sheesh, that the Nimona. Hasn't she ever heard of an inside voice? But I guess we better go, or she'll keep us shouting, or keep on shouting. All right, so even Kieran and Carmine wanna see us too, so maybe we'll get like a huge friend get together. All right, so we're all eating sweets apparently. Oh, my poor gut. I feel like I'll burst if I eat another bite. I think what you're trying to say is, thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious, right? I'll help with the dishes and stuff. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? But no need to lift a finger. You kids just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. At least Nimona's, Nimona's got manners. I'll give her that. Unlike this one. Huh? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Say, Zebra, about that letter. What was that place your new pal mentioned? Kitakami or something? Really gonna go there to meet this Kieran guy again? Yeah, let's all go. Wait, what? Are you going somewhere? Oh, uh, did we miss something? Something good? Spill it. They're definitely gonna be up to going, so I guess we'll all go as a group, right? Are you serious? We're definitely going with you. This Kieran kid was champion of a super elite battle academy, right? I've got to meet him. More like, I've got to battle him. Was it that obvious? I feel kind of bad though, like we just invited ourselves along on your trip without asking. Now I want you guys to go. The guy said to bring friends, and were those friends? He even sent, t t sent tickets for us. Yep, friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. You bet we do. This will be my first time going on a trip with friends. It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever taken a trip with a friend either. You're kidding. Well, this is gonna be amazing, so get excited. Yes, I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Why don't we break for now? Do whatever prep we gotta do and meet up again later? Sounds good. Let's say we meet up again in front of the Mesagoza's Southern Gate. Roger, see you all later then. All right. Sounds like a trip. 
Thanks for having us over. Aw. That was a, like, just like such a cute situation. Oh, did Nimona and the others leave already? Your friends are all such nice kids. I was really glad to meet them all. And now it sounds like you're all about to go have a little adventure together, hmm? Well, have fun if you do. No fighting, and be sure to look after one another. Will do. All right, so meet up at Mesagoza's South Gate, which should be right up here. Yeah, okay, so gathering outside Mesagoza. Once you're ready for your group trip to Kitakami, meet the others by Mesagoza's Southern Gate. I don't really know what's up ahead of us, so let me just double check. Yeah, all my Pokemon are still in my party here. They're all level 100, we're all super powerful. It's looking pretty good. So I think we'll just head back over here. We'll fly over and see if our friends are there already. All right, we've made it back all the way to Mesagoza. All of our friends are already chilling out, which is pretty cool. So I guess they're ready for the trip. They got their bags packed. Hey, over here, over here. All right, Zebra, did you load up on travel snacks? Your bag full of grub? Oh my gosh, Dad, would you just drop it? I told you, friends, I'm going with friends. No, you don't need to be worried about it. We are perfectly capable of taking, taking care of ourselves. Ugh, no, it's not gonna be an event tour. No one says that, honestly. I'm hanging up now. I wonder who Penny's dad is, do we know? Have I forgotten? Ugh, suddenly I'm too tired for any of this. Did you get your old man's okay to go? Yeah, in the end, but I had to put up with this ultra mega annoying dad talk to do it. He just ultra mega cares, little bud. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, we've all got permission and we're all here. No one forgot anything, right? Then vamos, let's go. Let's go! <laughs> all right, I guess we're heading out. Ooh, so we've made it to Kitakami. Ooh, so this is Mossy Town? <laughs> Arvin shaking his head. You all smell that, right? It kinda smells different than Paldea. Ugh, my head's still spinning too fast to see anything. Are we there yet? Maybe you wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't stared at your phone the whole bus ride. But I didn't know if we'd get signal here. I had to load up on internet goodness while I could. Why, hello there. Hiya. Hiya indeed, I'm the caretaker here, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Kieran had mentioned you all would be coming. Zebra aside, this is everyone's first time visiting Kitakami, is that right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, that's the long and short of it. I see, I see. Well, again, you're most welcome. You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been freshened up for you. Whoa, now that's some thoughtful service. <laughs> it was no trouble. Now please, relax and enjoy yourselves, but most of all, enjoy Kitakami. Thanks very much, sir. So what about that Kieran guy? Have you heard from him at all? Excuse me? He doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive? He must not want any distractions from training. Think, he, think he's at his house? Should we go meet him? <laughs> I guess so. All right, so what's the goal now? Meet up with Kieran. So we'll do that in just a moment. I figure we'll talk to everybody. I'm gonna make it clear once and for all who's your real, who your real best friend is. Just you wait and see. Do you think Kieran's at his house? I can't wait to bat, uh, befriend him. Reception out here is really lousy. Me and my poor phone don't stand a chance. All right, well, we can see that over here. Meet up with Kieran. Right over this way. Uh, head to Kieran's house so your friends can meet him. All right, so we might as well head over this way. It looks like, oh yeah, there's Kieran right in front of his house. Looks pretty normal around here. Oh, there you are. How's it going? Zebra, oh man, it's been a long time. Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't meet you at the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. Uh, we had it all in hand. Yeah, I know my way around pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, but wait, 
Did you come all by yourself? Not at all, brought by Entourage. Yo, we're here too. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm the Mona. You're Kieran, yeah? <laughs> Zebra told us all about you. Like how you're great at Pokemon battles, right? Well, I don't know about that, but dial it back a notch or nine, you're scaring him. I'm Penny, unlike a certain someone, I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Arvin, Zebra's absolute best friend. Taking your claim right from the get-go, huh? Well, I'm Kieran, I met Zebra when he came here from that school trip. That's when we became friends. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. Er, I mean, I was a student there. I'm on a break right now. What, really? I know how that goes, same thing happened to me. Honey, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. I thought I could count on you at least to keep this interloper at arm's length. What are you talking about, Arvin? Uh, I just get the feeling we're pretty alike. Wow, your friends seem like a quirky group. Kind of like you, huh? Anyway, a friend of Zebra's is a friend of mine. I hope you all have a good time staying in Kitakami. Thanks, now let's battle. I, uh, what? That space in front of the community center looked like a good battle spot. Vamos, come on! Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to go battle her? Uh, you've got this. Good luck, she's very good. <laughs> oh man, she's just as pushy as Sis is, but like, different. <laughs> oh no, I I think I made a, m might have made a terrible mistake. This Kieran kid might actually be a good guy. Of course he is, he's friends with Zebra. Yeah, yeah that's true. All right, well, head to the community center. We introverts know how to recognize one another. <laughs> That's for sure. Shoot, I must have come across like a real jerk. Maybe I should have toned it down a bit, huh? All right, so we'll get right on, get over here and see how that battle is going. I don't know out of the two who would win, but I guess we'll find out soon enough, but I see a team up here I'd like to grab, if I can, if that's possible. I might have to get off of, there you go. We get charge, very nice. And over here, and it was right down this way. Yeah, they're battling already. Uh, how's it going? I got completely destroyed. Who the heck is Nimona anyway? She's a champion. Wait, she's a champion in the Paldea region? Okay, yeah, it makes sense she's so good then. Oh, well, good job, Namona. Kieran, you're so good. That was awesome. No wonder you were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours. But I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter? Whether you win or lose, Pokemon battles are a blast. Yeah, that's true. That's Namona for you. You get used to it. You okay? Feel like running for the hills yet? Hey now. Not at all, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. See? Oh, she scared me. Uh, hi, Carmine. Whoa, who the heck are you? Sis, you okay? What is with her eyes? Uh, they weren't purple before. M Moji, Moji! What is going on? Uh, Carmine? What's with the chicken dance? Mochi, 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 mochi! Is this your big sister, Kieran? Do you think she wants in on the battle fun too? There's no way that's what's going on here. S sorry, everybody, but could you help me just, uh, just carry my sister more safe? You want us to pick her up and drag her off? I mean, if you say so. What is going on? This is not like her at all. Does this have to do with the doll that disappeared? You sure you don't want to stay with your sister? 
She should be okay. Gramps and Grandma look after her during the day, but they must have taken their eyes off of her just to, for just a sec earlier. Sorry for making you all help out with that. Oh, I mean, it was no big deal at all. Happy to help out, but yeah, I gotta ask, is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty uh riled up. She's not usually like that. Well, not really. She usually she gets riled up with anger, not with the, the need for mochi. I think she was just really excited to get to meet you all. You really think that's what it was? Yeah, that's that's gotta be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. How long has she been doing that? I mean, she's been like that since I sent you that letter, Zebra. She was already dancing and all by the time I woke up the next day. No explanation. I guess that really isn't normal, is it? Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe this really is a curse. Wait, it could be a curse? Wow, this trip just took a real sudden dive into horror movie territory. I know zilch about curses, but could something like this have happened before? You ever heard any old stories or legends about it? I don't know. Zebra already took care of the whole thing with Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Sheesh, the Zebra, you really just rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? My sis may have no filter, and be inconsiderate, and push people's buttons, but I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything you think we can do to help, just say the word. What? Sure, we'll help you out. I definitely don't believe in horror movie tropes like curses anyway. Yeah, let's do this. If we get to battle a curse, I'm so here for it. You guys sure? You don't mind? You can count on us. Zebra, no, all of you, thank you. It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you could all help me out tomorrow. First, we're gonna have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Let's do it, aye aye, count me in. All right, got a little friendship squad here. All right, so go to the community center. We'll do that in just a moment. Curses and supernatural stuff like that are totally unscientific, nothing scary about them. Hey, if my best friend's friend is in trouble, then I'll put out all the stuffs to help him out. If this is something we can beat by battling, then you know I'm all over it. All your friends are really good people. I'm jealous. All right, well now they're your friends too, so let's head somewhere. Where are we trying to go now? Uh, okay, just back in front of the Moss we can area. All right, let's see what we can figure out. So around here? Do we have to go inside? Yeah, I think so. Cool. All right, so we're all just hanging out for the night. Oh, there's Nimona. I got some soda. Sugar and carbonation, my two love languages. You find peaches all right? Yep, no problem, it's so close by. There was nobody there, so I just slipped money on the counter. Do you think that was okay? Oh yeah, the old lady who runs it steps away sometimes, so everybody does that, no worries. Man, I can't imagine anyone getting away with that back in Paldea. Wait, Nimona, what's all over your mouth? Why are you eating snacks without us? When I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left though. Mochi? Uh-oh. Hey, Kieran, do you have any idea how to change this, the channels on this TV? It just keeps playing this same tourism video over and over. Huh, I mean, it's the hotel TV, that makes sense. Oh, the caretaker hid the remote somewhere, so the video is all we can get on the TV. Okay, crew, new goal, find that clicker so we can all watch a movie or something. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? We just need to find it. Oh. Uh, huh, why didn't I think of that? Time to search this place top to bottom. 
and then I vote we play games up on that big screen. <laughs> it's like our own little treasure hunt. Everyone grab a corner and start searching. I'm in. Sounds like fun. I just sort of want to join the group here. <laughs> you agree my plan is genius, huh? How about this then? Let's say that whoever finds the remote gets to decide what we do. Hey, Kieran, no fair getting a head start. All right, well, let's find that remote. Looks like Kieran's searching for it. Find the TV remote. Hmm, the caretaker never really goes through here, does he? Maybe it's somewhere else. Okay, maybe over here. This table's for anyone to use, but they need to be charged. Or tablets. Uh, there's a bunch of flyers, garbage collection schedule, notice about health checkups, make apple jam by hand, sign up now, love singing, join the karaoke club. Seems like it's okay to take one. Okay, um, can we go in here? Looks like a conference room. Probably won't be uh, using this. Oh, is in this plant pod? I think I found it. Hmm, there's something in this planter. You found the remote control for the TV. Not too bad. What? No way. That means you get to choose what we do. Wowzers. Of course you found it for a zebra. Hey friend, you agree with me that we should use that big old screen to play games, right? I might just. Huh? Where'd Namona go off to? Is she in the bathroom or something? No, I was checking around there earlier. I'm pretty sure she, I, I would have seen her go in. She didn't head into the rooms in the back either. I was by the door to that hallway this whole time. I think I know what's going on. She must be waiting to jump out and scare us. Hmm. I tried her phone, but she's not picking up. You tried calling her? I didn't hear her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Huh, that is weird. So, does that help us figure out where she is? She's probably outside. Hmm, maybe she was so set on finding the remote that she went outdoors to look for it? I guess that makes sense. Maybe she forgot to get something at the shop? I just hope she didn't wander out of town. Kitakami is dangerous at night if you don't know your way around. I think Zebra and I should go look outside. Arvin, Penny, can you two stay here for now? What, but... What if she comes back while we're all out? We better have a better chance of finding her if you stay here and you can call us if she does. That's true. Okay, but be careful out there. We'll hold down the fort till you get back. Let's go, Zebra. All right. I hope she's okay. I mean, she ate that mochi. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, go find Nimona. I hope Nimona's all right. And all that talk about curses made my hair stand on its end. Seriously, worse than a Jolteon's. Be careful, it's already pretty dark outside. Will do, so we're just heading out over here. And hopefully we find Nimona. All right, we're out of here. Huh, there's still some people out? It's hard to tell with the sun down, but I think those two are workers from the orchard. Why don't we go ask them if they see Nimona? Sure. She's a hard person to miss. She's always spinning around everywhere. <laughs> Let's go ask if those two if they've seen Nimona. She's mostly screaming about something most of the time. Oh, they got the purple eyes. Uh-oh. Uh, good evening. Oh, no. Um, hello? Something's off about them. Mm mo mochi. M mo Mochi? Mochi? Oh no. Mo, mo. Mochi, mochi! Whoa, what the heck? What's going on? They're doing the mochi dance. Mochi, mochi, mochi! Why is it so silly? You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Sheej and Pokemon trainer Aya. Shige, maybe? I don't know. They're sending out so Lazzle, whoa. Are they gonna dance too? <laughs> it doesn't look like it, all right. What are they gonna say though? <laughs> mochi, mochi! 
<laughs> All right, uh, what do we do here then? I'm gonna go ahead and I guess just do Dark Pulse against one of them because my other moves aren't gonna be super effective. It's almost enough for a one hit knockdown. But it looks like they're focusing on the Polyroth, which is pretty good for me. Ooh, nice! Polyroth knocking out Salazzle pretty easily. This is so bizarre. Ooh, Bug Bite knocks out Miascarada in one hit. That's not so good. Guess I should've done Flower Trick while I had the chance, huh? What's with all of, with them all of a sudden? Why are they attacking us? All right, let's just go ahead and switch to uh, Talonflame here, probably the best bet, right? Let's go knock out this Ariados. Victory Bell, okay, that's also gonna be something new to our uh, Talonflame, so we should be pretty good overall here. Let's go ahead and use this against, oh, both of them, that'd be amazing. Got it. Double knockdown is exactly what we wanna see. Mochi? <laughs> All right. This is so bizarre. Ariados fainted, Victory Bell fainted. I think there's probably one more Pokemon we need to knock out here. I had to guess. All right. Let's find out. Noctowl. Okay, knocked out. This won't be like the, you know the easiest setup, but it should still be fine enough to knock you out, right? They're level 79, so I'll just do Heat Wave again. It's okay damage. Let's see what Polyroth does. Close combat. There we go. Great job, Polyroth. Putting the work in too. So it looks like Kieran hasn't been slacking. Some good stuff going on all around here, but we defeated both of these hypnotized mochi people. Oh. <laughs> All right, we get a lot of prize money too. Mochi, chi. Ew, that scared the snot out of me. What's gone into them? They were perfectly fine when I saw them yesterday. What the heck is going on around here? They were acting like Carmine. Hey, you're right. The weird dancing and yelling. It was my. It was what my sis sis was doing. Did these two get wrapped up in this whole curse thing too? Oh man! Wait, there's Nimona. I can't believe Nimona vanished at a time like this. We could really use your help, Nimona. Hey, come back. Where is she running off to? Sure looks like her, all right. She ran off towards Kitakami Hall. Why? Come on, we should go after her. So is there a cursed mochi somewhere around here? Let's go follow Nimona. She was right down this way, right? Oh no. Oh no. It's happening all over town. They're dancing. They're being really silly. So was it, how far off did she go? Uh, oh, way over here. Okay, I'm just gonna fly over there. It's just for convenience sake. Okay, here we are. So where's Nimona at? Uh, oh no, this isn't Nimona. Two other people here. We have to battle them too? I didn't revive Mascarada. uh-oh. Oh no, this is uh, Kieran's grandparents. Hello there, Kieran, and you too, Zebra. Grandpa, Grandma, what are you both doing here? Is Carmine okay? And did you see a girl come by here? Slow down, Kieran, one question at a time. Carmine is at home, sleeping in her room. She must have tuckered herself out with all that dancing. Phew, so she's safe. We thought we'd step out a while while she slept and get to get some of her favorite noodles from the stall here. A taste of her favorite food might help her snap, snap her out of whatever is going on with her. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, Grandpa. Now, what was that you were asking about some girl coming this way? Oh, right. Everyone in town is acting all weird. And one of the girls who came here from Paldea went missing. Uh, she's wearing a school uniform. That might be more identifiable just in case she's, you know, just screaming mochi like everybody else. Well, now that you mention it, we did run into a girl wearing a uniform not too long ago. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Dearest? Uh-oh. 
Oh no. Have some mochi. Hmm? I I don't need any mochi at the moment. D dear, have some mochi. E eat it. Eat the mochi. Grandma? This is awfully sudden, dear, but I suppose if you insist. No, don't do it! No, stop! <laughs> no! All right, I've had some mochi, dear. Now we can get back to the question. Mm hmm. Not good. Uh oh. Grandpa, you okay? Oh no! Instantly, mochi, mochi, huh? Mochi, mochi! You gotta be kidding me! We're doing the dance pretty well, though. What do we do now? Do we have to battle Kieran's grandparents? You were chance by Grandma Hideko and Grandpa Utica. All right, or Yukita, not Utica, sorry. Uh, whoa, they got some cool Pokemon, though. It looks like Nostradamus got healed up, so at least that's going on for me. Let's see what we can do against these two. Oh, no. <laughs> mochi, mochi! Oh, boy. Our box intimidate. Our attack fell. Same thing with Polyraths. Okay, let's see what we can do then. None of this is super effective except for this dark type move, so I guess it's, what is it super effective against? It must be the Chandelure. Let's find out. Yeah, it is. Almost a one hit takedown. Unfortunately, not quite there, but maybe Polyrath can help. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Liquidation coming in, coming in against Arbok. Not too bad. Oh man, why'd this have to happen? I guess we've got no choice but to beat him. Let's make sure we don't accidentally eat any mochi. Oh no, the Oscarada knocked out. The Oscarada fainted. Okay, so I might just switch over to Talonflame again so we can get that move that hits multiple people. Grandpa, Grandma, what's gotten into you? I think the mochi has. The gunk shot on the Polyrath. That's a little rough. Let's go ahead and switch to Talonflame again. Running some tough Pokemon today. Okay, so we'll just do Heat Wave against the both of them. It should knock both of them out. Oh wait, no. Okay, it just didn't hurt Chandelure. So hopefully Polyrath can finish off Chandelure. That's not too big of a deal. All right, so Liquidation is it gonna fail. It's not gonna fail. So Chandelure is knocked out. Super effective there, awesome. Okay, so what's next? Mamo Swine. Oh boy. I think Mamo Swine's an Ice type, right? Yukito sent out Weezing. Okay, I think we'll be fine with another Heat Wave right here. Come on. Weezing avoided it, but it does hurt Mamo Swine, and it is super effective. Close combat coming in on Mamo Swine too finishes it off. That's not so bad. Okay, so how many Pokemon do uh, Kieran's grandparents even have? We're about to find out. Sludge Bomb coming in, ooh, not good. Battle, and then I guess we'll try Aerial Ace against you. They didn't throw out a new Pokemon, so I can only guess that they both have two each. That didn't do too much, unfortunately. Liquidation coming in. Ooh, not too bad, halfway down now. Sludge Bomb, ooh, that definitely hurts. So. Hydrapple coming out from Kieran. Very cool Pokemon. Super sweet syrup. Okay. I might just want to try the Heat Wave this time. Since they have lower evasiveness, we might just be able to, yeah, finish them off right there. A bit of a tough battle for sure. So it seems like they're all double battles so far. But there we go. We defeated Grandma and Grandpa. Eat mochi. Mochi, mochi. All right, well, another successful battle though. Glad we got through it. Mochi. Oh man, no way. Gramps and Grandma too, everyone's losing it. It's just a matter of time until it gets me. I'm gonna end up like all the rest of them.
We'll stop it. S sorry. I kind of panicked there. Thanks, Zebra. I mean, as long as we don't eat the mochi, I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's think. Before Graham started acting like Carmine, he ate some of that weird mochi. Oh, we're getting a call. Zebra, how are you two doing out there? You okay? Uh, we're doing okay. Yeah, thank goodness. Just hearing your voice is helping me calm down. We got worried because we hadn't heard from you in a while, so we decided to step outside. And things are weird out here, little buddy. We're attacked by all these folks shouting mochi mochi at us. We couldn't spot you anywhere, so I was beginning to fear the worst. We're holding tight by the, the that Peachy's place for the moment, but eek! Ugh! There's something there. There's something there, Arvin. Penny, what? Gah! Uh oh. What's wrong? Are you two okay? Oh crud! This does not look good. What was that? Oh no, Arvin. Hey, Arvin! Something must have got them. What could it have been? Grandma, Grandpa, I'll be back, so don't go anywhere. I still wanna find Amona, but we gotta get to Peachy's and check on Arvin and Penny. Come on. This is not good. Maybe a Pokemon attack them. Head over to Peachy's. Okay, so it's gonna be straight back over here. We will just fly over. What's happening at Peachy's? Hurry to Peachy's and see what happened to Arvin and Penny. Will do. So we'll fly to this spot and hopefully be able to save them. I'm a little nervous here, but maybe there's like a Pokemon attacking. Is that the whole point of the mochi stuff? You seem very unbothered by it. I don't know why, but uh, oh, here they are. Uh-oh, I don't like their stance. Uh, are they okay? Arvin, Penny. There you guys are. What happened? Oh uh, yeah, sorry about hanging up on you like that. Probably gave you the wrong impression. It was all Penny's fault. She went into full panic mode and ran smack into, into me with her head. So I dropped my phone. Can you blame me? Look at the people in this town. Something's seriously wrong with them. Never mind whatever that weird thing was. Weird thing? What are you talking about? It was like round, and little, and weird. And just where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure weren't just seeing stuff? It was real, I really saw it. Sure you did. I think I might have figured out why everyone is acting so strange. Until we know for sure though, maybe we should all be careful when, whoa, heads up guys. There's something up there. Up where? What? Look, up there. Whoa, it's the thing we found at Penny's. That's the thing I saw earlier. Is it a drone? No, I think it's a Pokemon. Whoa, no, don't do the, no, dodge it, dodge it. Ooh, close one. Not you too, Kieran. Oh, off the forehead. It shot the mochi into their mouths. Huh, is this mochi? It's kinda sweet, I like it. No, wait, don't eat those. Whoa, what? Oh no. Gah. You two, okay? Mo, mo, mo. Mochi, mochi, not again. So this Pokemon is like hypnotizing everyone with mochi. This is bad. <laughs> He's got a little bit of a different dance to him. Mochi, Mochi. Arvin, Penny. Oh, Momochi, Chi Chi. Huh? Is Arvin embarrassed? But more importantly, I'm so sorry. If only I'd managed to warn them in time. Those weird Mochi came from that thing. Pechin? What is this thing? M mochi, Mochi Chi. Hey, no fair, that jerk's using them as a shield. We gotta find some way to get the two of them to calm down. Seems like the only way might be a battle. These two won't be an easy team to battle, that is for sure. Um, Battle Arvin and Penny, will do. I don't like it, but I think battling Arvin and Penny might be the only way. 
Let's make sure yep, our team is all healed up. Let's go for it. Two versus two. Oh no. Mo mochi, mochi, mochi! You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Penny and Pokemon Trainer Arvin. And they're sending out Umbreon and Greedent. Oh man, intense way to start this. Let's go ahead and deal with these two as well as we can. Oh no. Mo, Mo! Arvin seems like he's trying to fight it. <laughs> Mochi, Mochi! <laughs> Hiding in the hood was so silly. Okay, let's see what we wanna do here. We can do a super effective U-turn on Umbreon. Let's give it a go. Boom, just like that, no problem. And who do we wanna switch out with? Guess we'll have to see in a moment. Ah, Ichi, Chibi. Okay, now you're just saying random stuff. Uh, what do we wanna to switch to though? Looks like we have, uh, let's do Doc's fun for a bit. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Ooh, that was good. Polyroth has been doing some good work here. Gee. All right, how many Pokemon do they have left? I think they'll probably both have two each, if it's anything like the previous battles, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Might get more difficult as we go on. You can see more people doing the Mochi Dance in the background too. Umbreon flinching couldn't move, which is great for us. Mabostiff is coming out now too. Which makes sense, oh, it's Mabostiff from Arvin's story. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, good to see a Mabostiff again. Okay, let's do play rough against Mabostiff. Baby doll eyes is gonna lower Pyroth's attack. Not too big of a deal though. We can knock out Mabostiff in almost one hit. That was good. Mochi. All right, all right. Play rough against Pyroth too. Not so good. Close combat against the Umbreon should definitely, yeah, finish it off. It's super effective. This is getting pretty intense. But I think we got this fight under wraps for the most part. We're landing some good bits of damage here. And Sylveon is your next one. Okay. So now they all have three Pokemon each. So let's go ahead and just finish off Bostiff then. So the Polyrath can finish or focus on Sylveon. Close combat, going in against Sylveon. It doesn't do very much. Polyroth's defense fell. Ooh, Moonblast, whoa. That's gonna finish off Polyroth. They haven't been attacking us too much, but that's okay. Leaster. This might be where I wanna switch over to Palmot or something. Maybe even back over to Masquerada. Oregon Z coming in from here and here. Let's see what I want to do. I could just keep doing play rough against Sylveon this time. Hyper Beam coming in. Whoa. Never mind, Sylveon knocked out. So let's focus on Cloyster. This should be Arvin's last Pokemon. Oh, Porygon lost some of its HP. Mo Chi? So you have one more evolution, right? I guess we'll see. That was not so bad. It was just a little chunk of the HP. Liquidation coming in against us. Doesn't do too much. Here comes Leafeon. Okay. So, let's go ahead and just keep doing play rough against Cloyster. Oregon C must recharge, so it's all up to me just to land some more damage. If we can do that one more time against Cloyster, we'll be fine. And then it's just focusing on the Sylveon. For that, I might want to switch Pokemon or something. Oh no, oh no, ooh, not good. Okay, play rough, one more time. With the Shadow Ball coming in. Gonna use that against Leafeon. Ooh, critical hit, knocks Leafeon out in one hit. Beautiful work there. Grah, Mochi on. Keeps comboing all the Mochi with evolutions. Interesting. Okay, and then I got you. Knocked out right here with the play rough. There we go, that's gonna finish up this battle. Pretty cool. So, you defeat the Pokemon Trainer Penny and Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Me, Chi.
Moshi. Whoa, we get a ton of prize money for that one. That's awesome. All right. Mo, Chi. Arvin, Penny. I'm really sorry, guys. Where do you think you're going? You're next. You get back here. <laughs> Doesn't seem very enthused. Hey, you get back here. Don't you run. Wait. Be careful, Kieran. And keep your mouth closed with him. I try to fire emoji into it. Chase down the mysterious Pokemon. Okay. So where did the mysterious Pokemon run off to is the question. It looks like way over here by the uh, Loyalty Plaza. Okay, chased in the mysterious Pokemon, it led towards Loyalty Plaza. All right, we've made it to Loyalty Plaza, and we're still here with Kieran, that's good. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Here's Hopin. Oh, is it behind us? Oh no, they followed us. <laughs> that's not good. They move pretty quick with their little dance. Wait, is that Nimona? Thank goodness you're okay. Mochi, Mochi, not Nimona too. I should have figured. Mochi, Mochi, match. What? Did she just say match? Because even the Mochi couldn't override her battle mania completely. Yeah, there's two little elements of the personality mixed in. <laughs> Oh, they just think this is funny, huh? Oh man, it's got control of Nimona. There's no way I can hold her off. Uh-oh. Not the whole town. The whole town's been mochified. This is bad. Everybody in, from Maswi is coming here. Uh, watch my back for me. Right, good luck. I'll focus on keeping the villagers from getting any closer. Zebra, you do your best with Nimona and whatever that thing is. Maybe everyone will go back to normal if you beat it. You're so open. Oh man, battle Nimona. All right, so does this have something to do with the loyal three? I don't know. Mochi match, mochi match! All right, let's go for it. You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. Lycanroc, oh boy. Might not have the best combo here with Miascarada, but we can always do um U-turn. Mochi, let's have a Mochiful match. Okay, uh, no flower trick super effective, then I'm going for it. Here we go. Ooh, nice, a one hit takedown on Lycanroc. Really good start to our intense battle here. Oof, that good mochi, uh, ouchie. <laughs> nice name, mochi. It's like her personality is fighting with the curse. Maybe she'll be able to break through if we give her a good battle. All right, Rabombi. Uh, Rabombi, I think we could handle with uh, Talonflame. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Come on. All right, Rabombi. Let's see what you can do. Oh, okay, I got this mixed up with a different Pokemon, but it still works. So let's do Heat Wave and see how much damage it ends up doing to Rabombi. There we go. Super effective, another one hit takedown. Is Nimona gonna say anything about that? Palmot coming out next. Let's switch Pokemon again then to something that might be a little bit safer. I think we'll probably just want to keep Mascarada out, or we could try Earth Power. Ooh, with Oink alone, that could do something. Let's give it our best shot. Here's hoping. Okay, so here comes Palmont. I forgot that we both have Palmots. Battle, Earth Power. Here we go. Close combat coming in though. That's gonna hurt. Whoops, okay, super effective, but doesn't knock us out all the way. So here's our chance to do Earth Power and maybe just be able to clear you out. Come on. Mochi, ha ha ha! 
It's so funny that it's still the mode out right there. She just has such a strong personality. Not bad, the one hit takedown. All right. Pokemon trainer Nimona is about to send out Kamo'o. Uh, will you switch Pokemon? I think I will, because you're pretty beat up. I don't know what's gonna be good against Kamo'o, so maybe I'll just do Miascarada because it's a good, strong Pokemon overall. I just forget what type this Pokemon is. But we'll see soon enough. Once we actually have it out in front of us, we'll be able to switch types and stuff, or switch Pokemon again, and see what's super effective and what's not. Whoa, you're looking intense. Uh, or maybe I will, maybe I've never fought you. Uh, let's try Dark Pulse and see how much damage that ends up doing. Come on. Not much, it's not very effective. Uh-oh, Drain Punch coming in. Ooh, that's super effective. So maybe I should go with Tail and Flame or something? How does energy drained? Pokemon, well actually, let's do U-Turn. And it doesn't do much damage, but that way we can switch out and just do something else. Uh, I just don't know what's gonna be effective against you. And it's not only telling me, so uh, I guess we'll do Palmont. Let me try Palmont a little bit here. We'll do close combat or something. See if that's any better. Okay. Ooh, that definitely hurts. Let's see. So from what I'm looking at really quickly, it looks like Kamao is a dragon fighting type. So this might not work out very well either, but we'll try it. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good, just normal damage-wise. It's not super effective or anything. So I'll just do that again, and we should be fine. Earthquake, oh no! Come on! This is a tough Pokemon. Now I'm in a bit of trouble. What should we do instead? Uh, maybe Talonflame won't be so bad of an idea. Or I could do Doxbun. Let's try Doxbun, and maybe I'll do Play Wrath. Come on, once we knock you out, I think... Carmine should have two more Pokemon left over. So just play rough really quickly. If we can attack first. Oh no. Avoided the attack, you're kidding me. And not Earthquake again. Better not be one to take down. Okay, that's a lot more uh, manageable. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! All right, Kamao is knocked out. Phew. Scary. Okay, so Gudra. Gudra will keep my current Pokemon for now. So I just, I think that's another dragon type, right? So play rough should be super effective, and it is. It's a one-hit takedown. We're back on a roll here. You have one more Pokemon left. Let's see if we can knock you out. Okay, Quaquabble. I forget what Pokemon this is. All right, Quaquabble. Yes, the starter evolution. Uh, we'll just do play rough again. Apparently, it's still super effective. So, uh oh. Oh no, the terrestrialization. I forgot. I didn't realize this was gonna be a terror raid battle. Or just terror battle. Not terror raid. Oh boy. Okay, now it's got the fighting type. I think it's fine, actually. Guess we'll see in just a moment. Come on. Avoided it again. I can't believe that. Here I go, <laughs> That's so silly. Aqua step coming in. That might hurt a little bit. Oh, okay, not too bad. I don't know if I should terrestrialize here then, because this is still super effective. Let's just do a super effective play rough then. If I can actually land and they don't avoid it, this could be a one hit takedown. All right, all right, come on. Here's hoping. Maybe with this we'll be able to defeat the Mochi curse for good. I'm not quite sure. Aqua step, you get to attack first still. This could be a disaster. Oh, it's almost a disaster. The critical hit almost knocks out Doc Spun, but come on, if we can land our hit now, this is it. Oh, there we go. The one hit takedown, the finish off Quaquabble, and all of Nimona's Pokemon are finished. That's amazing. All right, you defeated Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Mochi, skills, Mochi. <laughs> Alright, she seems pretty happy. 20,000 in prize money is pretty wild. M what is going on with this thing? 
Maybe now we can just battle you. Defeat the mysterious Pokemon. Uh, what's going on over here? Are you okay? Maybe everyone will go back to normal if you defeat that thing. Hi guys, you stay here, okay? <laughs> All right, mochi mochi. Uh, hi Nimona. Can I talk to you before I battle this thing? Mochi, match. All right, my Pokemon are still beat up, so let's do auto heal against whoever I can, or with whoever I can, and then I need to go to my bag to revive Palmot. Max revive, use on Palmot. There you go, everybody should be back to normal now. Let's go ahead and try to catch you. Puh, puh. Do you wanna challenge this strange Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Whoa, cha-cha-cha! Oh my. So, should I just throw a Master Ball at this thing? I don't know, maybe that's what I should try to do here. Pechant or Pechant, I'm not really sure. It's Petarun. Okay, Um, let me go ahead and try U-turn against it maybe? So I can switch out to Palma and paralyze it? That did not do very much. Okay, good to know. I don't know what typing is gonna be or anything like that, so we definitely need to experiment around here a little bit. You damaged it, that means you can beat it. Keep it up, you got this. Okay, time for Palmot. All right, Palmot, give it everything you got. We need to find out what this thing is weak to. It's doing not nasty plot for now. But if it was pretty strong against Bug, what does that mean? Uh, maybe it's a flying type or something? I really don't know what's not weak against Bug at the top of my head. Let's try Discharge. And can I even throw out Pokeballs here? I can't, so I don't think I can even get the chance of catching it. So maybe I should just focus on defeating it. Okay, it doesn't, fighting does not affect you at all. What typing are you? It's like a ghost type or something, right? Let's try Discharge. We could at least paralyze you or something. That's not so bad. Para paralyze, that's good. Okay, couldn't move because it was paralyzed. Let's keep moving forward. Maybe we'll just keep using this move over and over. Okay, let's use Discharge again then. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, it's doing more and more damage. An elegant Chant, is that what that was? Oh no, the critical hit knocks out Palma in one move. That's crazy. So now we're in a little bit more of trouble, but at least they're paralyzed. So let's see what else we can do here. If it's gonna be Ghost type, doesn't Ghost like ineffective against normal? If I remember correctly? Maybe it's the other way around, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right, Boink alone is in here. Let's go ahead and just do Headbutt against you. It doesn't affect Wild Pacheron. Pacheron, whatever you are. Uh, okay, so whatever other, uh, other options here, I can't really use Belch. So I guess at the least I can use Yawn against you. I don't know if that's gonna work because you're already paralyzed. Yeah, it failed. Okay, I'm just being silly now. Mal M malignant chain. There's another one to take down. This is getting terrifying. Okay. Um. Let's try to on flame then. Maybe we can just use some fire moves here or something like that. Battle. Heat wave. Ooh, down to the yellow critical hit. That's pretty good. Another malignant chain is terrifying because this might knock out Talonflame. Oh man, we don't have too much room left here to make a win happen. Oh man, I can't hold out much longer. Hurry up and finish it, Zebra. I'm trying. Uh, Maybe I go back to Masquerade here. Let's try Masquerade and do Dark Pulse or something. This is really a disaster no matter what. Uh, Dark Pulse. There we go, that was super effective. I should've just been doing that from the beginning, but Petra Rod is fainted. Do we get the chance to catch you now? Look, it's slowing down. Now's your chance, catch it in a Pokeball. All right, I'll do everything I can. Maybe I don't need a, a, a what's it called? A Master Ball here. Let's just throw the Pokeball as soon as I can. Come on, come on. You better not jump out. Got it. All right, Petra Rod was caught. That's so cool. 
So number 243, Petrant registered. The subjugation Pokemon is a poison ghost type. Its peach-shaped shell serves as storage for a potent poison. It makes poisonous mochi and serves them the people in Pokemon. Oh my, so it's poisonous? Are these people gonna be sick now? That's not good. What a crazy Pokemon. Boom, right there, right next to Terrapagos. Did, did you get it? Then everybody else should be back to normal. Hopefully. Oh, they're coming back. Hmm. What are we all doing here? How did I end up at Loyalty Plaza? Everybody's back to normal. Zebra, Kieran. The last thing I remember is getting to the shop. What happened? So, first, and after that, but then they all, I guess he's catching them up. Seriously? So all that mochi mochi stuff was because of some Pokemon? See, see, I told you it was real. Unlike dumb horror movie tropes like curses, that round little monster was behind everything, just like I said. Er, uh, when did you even say that? Anyway, Zebra went went and caught this thing, as he does. <laughs> you sure did. Wait, what about Nimona? Uh, she okay? You doing all right, Nimona? Uh, Nimona, you feeling all right? <laughs> Please don't say mochi mochi. Mochi match! Oh no! God, the curse wasn't lifted! Oh, no, she looks fine. Huh? What's going on? Did we find the remote? That's what you want to know? Sheesh. Glad you're back to normal now, at least. Yep, morning, everybody. You know, I had this crazy realistic dream that I was battling Zebra. It was awesome! Sign me up to have that dream again. <laughs> N Nimona really is. Something? Yep, sure is. Kiki and Zebra? Sis, Cramps, Grandma. Wait, what the heck is going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining. Actually, huh, what a weird feeling. Somehow it feels like I'm seeing you for the first time in ages. Aw. Seems like everybody's able to hang out for real now. So it's cool that we got to gather all of our friends together. Several days later. All right, so head home to Paldea. What's going on about this then? Back to Paldea. It's the final day of your trip. Once you're ready, head on back to Paldea. Okay, everybody else is here too. So we're heading back to Paldea already, huh? We got caught up in a pretty hairy situation, but this trip was still a blast. All packed here. Everyone got their stuff together? My arms and legs are still killing me from all that dancing. <laughs> Guess that was a bit of a workout, huh? Is there anybody else around here? Ogre Pond's adorable. I had no idea Ogre Pond's face was so adorable. I should talk to the caretaker about whipping up some Ogre Pond souvenirs. Okay, well that's not really related to what we're doing. What about you? Welcome. You wanna change the setting for the upper and lower borders of your menus? Uh, okay, no, not that. So I guess we're just good to leave by going through the front door. I wonder where Kieran and Carmine are. Probably back at their house. Hey, you guys. Are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. I'll come back again. Yeah, you'd better. Hey, uh. Zebra? Everyone? Thank you all so much for coming. Nah, we should be the ones thanking you for showing us such a good time. And the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good. The festival was a lot of fun too. I even got to buy a VV mask. What more could you want? Heh, <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you liked it here. Time really flew by. 
Just goes to show how much fun we were having, huh? Wish I could have fitted more battles against both of you, though. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more. Welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. I really am happy I got to meet you all. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm gonna give Blueberry Academy another shot. I'm really gonna go for it this time. Do your best. I believe in you. Yeah, thanks, Zebra. Oh, I guess that means my vacation's over too. Time for me to head back to school too then. Hey, sis, thanks for like, coming with me here and everything. This has been great, seriously. I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all. And Kieran, I really am sorry for trying to flex on you the way I did when I first got here. Huh, who are you? I didn't even notice. Don't worry about it, Arvin. Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. Oh, okay? Wow, looks like Carmine's another one with a big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. Excuse me? Who do you think you're apologizing for? And do you guys, what do you mean by big personality? <laughs> All right, well, our friend group grows a little larger. The hidden treasure of Area Zero epilogue, Mochi Mayhem, the end. That was a lot of fun. So a fitting ending to our DLC adventure, all of our friends getting together and getting to know each other and having a little adventure along the way. That was really cool. So it looks like we're back at the main Uva Academy now, and I think that's gonna be the end of the mainline story for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now when it comes to things that I still have to do, at some point I need to scrounge up the time to go to the part two um, Blueberry Academy and try to figure out just how to um, get the rest of the Pokemon I need for the one photography quest. But beyond that, when it comes to mainline story stuff for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we are all finished. It has been a fantastic journey between the main game and the DLC. I think there's been over 50 or 60 episodes. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me with all that stuff and stay tuned because I'm sure they'll be announcing new Pokemon adventures soon enough. It seems like they have been doing a thing where they'll do a new mainline game, then they'll do a year of DLC and then another new mainline game. We saw that also with Pokemon Sword and Shield, so maybe this year we'll get the announcement and a release of a new Pokemon game? Who knows, whatever's gonna happen with this year, 2024, and Pokemon, I'm so super excited to find out, and I'll be doing it with all of you guys. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero Epilogue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.